Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is as you probably already know, my Notion tour. I've just started using Notion, like I've seen YouTube videos about Notion for the past year and I've always been like, mm, I'm not really a digital person, I need a paper and a pen, that's how I get organized and I get my shit together. Yeah, and if you look at my agenda, it's a mess. They are supposed to help you with the chaos you have in your mind and all the things you have to do and <laughs> everything else. But yeah, my agenda just stopped working a year ago, but I kept using it and there are things all over the place. <laughs> so I decided to start using Notion just to see if it could work. And keep in mind, I literally just started using it, literally. So it's definitely a very basic you know, template. It's nothing crazy. Uh, it's pretty minimal, which I really love because it cle it, it's clean. And, you're gonna see it. Let's go and welcome to my Notion. This is the layout. This is the first thing you see when you join, when you enter my Notion. Uh, I have a personal and a workspace. And here I just have a calendar and I added some pictures just because they were they're cute. The name of my Notion is oh, Life because life and in my personal as you can see i have my weekly to-do list habit tracker budget books movies and resolution and my calendar and in my workspace i have uni youtube and podcast let's start with my personal so in my weekly to-do list i literally have just a to-do list as i said before i just started it like as you can see only friday is kind of full and what I like to do is writing stuff down all the stuff that I have to do and do as many of them as much as I can so for example I know that today I have to change the sheets so I'm definitely gonna do that I'm filming my notion tour I'm gonna do a zoom call with my best friend I definitely should wipe the floor and uh, I don't know if I will be able to do the other stuff, so if I'm not able to do, I don't know, to go to the grocery store and buy cereal and lemons, I'm just gonna whoop, do that. Oh my god, not like that, but like that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I use this layout even in my basically bullet journal, and uh, it worked perfectly. So because it worked, uh, I decided to put this layout even in my Notion. And yeah, I added a picture of a cute cup of coffee and this. I don't know, I just like the color, so I was like, yeah, whatever. Then, Abby Tracker, it's actually Abby, whatever. Um, so I have the day of the week and then all the things that I try to do on a daily basis, except like Redbubble sale. This is just kind of a thing for me to see the days that I've made a sale. It's just a, a kind of a reminder. Um, so yeah, I have workout, TV series. So when I watch the TV series, YouTube, when I watch YouTube videos, skincare, Redbubble, as I said, it's just kind of a reminder and read when I read. And honestly, I've been pretty consistent this week, definitely because I was home. Uh, I was just in a more calm environment. Um, so yeah, let's see next week what, what will happen, but yeah. Budget, it's just money, <laughs> really. Um, I've divided in credit card, PayPal and cash. I was filming the video, I completely forgot about saying this, but uh, in my budget area, I have like the type of expense. So I have grocery, eat out, personal, Netflix, 
Redbubble, which is when Redbubble pays me, Prolific, which is again when the app Prolific pays me, and Balance. Pretty self explanatory. From again, could be credit card, cash, or PayPal. So, yesterday, uh, Netflix got renewed. It's connected with my, my PayPal. Uh, I went grocery shopping, I paid in cash. This is how much I paid. This is the remainings. Then books, I just have the books that I've read or I've been reading. So, so I read the first Harry Potter um, at the beginning of the year. Uh, then I read A Room Full of People, which is the story of Billy Milligram. And now I'm reading the second book of Percy Jackson. Yeah, if I have a book that I want to read, I just add it to the list and whoop, read if I've already read it and reading pretty self-explanatory. Then I have the score, so it's like that. When I started and when I finish, I don't remember these two, so I'm doing it with Percy Jackson. Then movies is literally just all of the movies that I want to watch or that I've watched. Um, so it's a very long list and I added my letterbox account here. So I don't know if today I'm watching The Goldfinch, for example, I can just check as watched, put in the score if I've seen it before and then be like, oh, let me add it to my letterbox. So status I have uh, to watch, watch the, I'm gonna add uh, to watch the movies that I'm planning, like maybe next week I'm gonna be like, mm, okay, this week I'm gonna watch this, this and this, for example, and I'm adding the to watch score, again, same as books, and seen before is if I've already seen that movie and I watched it again, for example, King's Speech, I've seen it like three times. The movies that are checked as watched are the movies that I've seen from the beginning of 2021 until today. For example, A Beautiful Mind, I've always started it and never finished. So it's uh, it's under seen before because I've basically seen it, but I haven't seen the whole movie. So it's like that. Resolution, it's actually, I really don't know what to do with it, but I have a yearly resolution and a monthly resolution. Probably I'm gonna do something like add empty with an icon and uh, I'm just, I don't know, for example, um, oh, for example, it's, I'm gonna add like that and it's gonna be um, November because it's like mid-October, so November and the 1st of November, I'm just gonna write a list of uh, things that I want to achieve that month. Definitely I'm gonna I'm gonna use it for that. Um, yearly I think it, it would be like the year resolutions. So again a list of things that I want to achieve for the year. For now it's empty. Then at the end of the personal area, I have um, a calendar and I have all the classes and when I have them, they are also color colored. So I know like this is a one class, this is another class and this is another class. But the thing that I love about it is that I can open it so I have a wider view of the calendar. So that's my personal. And on workspace I have, as I said, uni, YouTube and podcast. With uni, I don't know what to do with it. It's empty. I just added this picture because we don't have assignments, homework, we really don't have anything. So I really don't know what to do with it. We'll see. We'll see. YouTube, I have the video ideas and videos. 
So I'm gonna write the name of the video that I'm planning on uploading status. So if I'm filming it, if I'm editing it, if it's uploading or if you know I've uploaded it and if it's published. So for example, right now I'm filming my Notion tour. So I'm gonna write uh, Notion tour status filming. I haven't fil finished filming it so I can click off it but when once I've finished filming it I'm gonna clap and then once I've edited it then when I, it's published then I'm gonna write the day that I've published it that I have you know it's public so yeah video ideas it's just a, a basically the same format as a to-do list so when I made the video, I just take it off. So, for example, podcast, it's basically the same as the YouTube folder. So I have episode ideas and episodes. My best friend and I are planning on starting a podcast. So this, it's gonna be very helpful once we start recording the episodes and decides when to publish them and stuff like that. So this is for the future, but I've already done a, a section for it. And as I said, just cute picture that I found on Pinterest. So yeah, as I said at the beginning, this is a very fresh Notion setup. I haven't used any templates from other people. This is what I've created from the tools that there already are on Notion. Definitely I'm not an expert. I've just started it and I'm definitely gonna update it, uh, change it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's what I have. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, subscribe and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.